Oh, welcome back to Shed Tune and welcome back to my garage. We're back in the garage. Um, it's been pissing down with rain. For absolutely weeks and weeks and weeks. And we've been dying to get out on the scooter. So now the sun's come, I thought I'd get the scooter ready to go riding at the weekend. Went to get the scooter going and the good old temperature gauge, which should be there, is no longer working because the battery's gone flat in it. So I thought, no problem. I'll take it off, bring it over here, move some of this out of the way and change the battery. So I took all four screws out and guess what? The back's glued on. And this is a TTO Trail Tech. And as you can see, I've broken it because I put a saw to it to try and get it open and you can't. I'll insert a video clip of somebody else having the same issue as me and what they did. I'm not really sure what language he's speaking and I can't really understand what he's saying, but I'd hazard a guess that he's saying, trail tech you robbing bastards, 75 quid for a temperature gauge that you can't even change the battery on. Because I was too tight to buy a new trail tech one because you can't change the battery on them, um, you know, they're like 70 odd quid. What a piss take. Anyway, I looked on Amazon and I found this one. This one's called <laughs> the thermometer. And there's a few things that drew it to me. A, it was dirt cheap. B, you can change the battery. And C, there was a lovely picture of a scooter which reminded me of a lot of you people out there watching. So what do you get in the box? Well, inside the box are a few more boxes. But it's pretty simple. It's literally a gauge with a lead, just like the last one. In fact, I haven't even opened this bit. So I'm hoping there's a lead in it. Otherwise, uh, we'll be a bit knackered. Two cable ties, a lead, which no doubt will be too short, and a bit of double-sided tape. So we're going to fit it. Um, so if you've never fitted a temperature gauge, I'll show you how to do it now. Okay, so I had one mounted already, but normally what you do is select somewhere to mount your temperature gauge on your handlebars, which obviously mine's going to go there then work out how long the wire needs to be. Now this one, unfortunately, is too short by I reckon about 30 or 40 centimetres. Uh, so you can, I believe, buy a extension lead. So if you've never fitted one before and you're not really good at electrics, an extension lead is what you'll need to get. I'll have a look on uh, Amazon and see if I can find one for you. Right, well me, however, uh, I think, well, I'm pretty sure, 99% sure, there's only a two wire circuit. So I'm going to cut the end off of here and wire it into that plug. I think, let's have a look. Let's cut a bit of this off. And have a look at the little wires. Yeah, so there you go, two wire. I don't know if you can see that. And then the old one was two wires. So what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll strip this one back, cut it, strip this one back, cut it, and then we'll put that plug on that wire, and then I can just fit it straight onto the old lead. I hope. back in a minute right it's another day um, I got a bit frustrated with it all last night and a little bit carried away and managed to break most of it I'll be honest with you I actually took the angle grinder to it because it got on my wick so much so we've left with a pile of bits Look. Nothing worked properly, I wanted it to. So, I've had to order a new wire. Hopefully that'll be it today, and then we can get it fitted. I've had to take the headset off. 
obviously to expose the, the original wire. I'm going to leave that in place until I need to fit the new one and I can use that as a guide when I pull it through. Obviously horn covers that to come off. Um, well, and it's a bit of a mess. Maybe I should have kept my cool. But what I'm going to do is uh, solder that to the gauge so they're back together. And then that'll extend the wire when the other wire arrives. Right, well, good news. I've extended the wire, soldered all the joints there and there. And look, it all works now. So all that remains now is to fettle that so it fits around the spark plug run the cable and it will be fitted and working. Just measured the uh, the length of both of these and the new one's longer, which is great. However, I've just noticed that the new one has a whopping great big spark plug sensor, whereas the old one has a really thin one. So I'm gonna have to modify that so it's the same as that original one new one quite similar let's see if it fits that's the sensor it's just a case of running the wire under the leg shields now up under here to the headset to that joint we can mount the gauge up here while in the old place and happy days we'll be good to go all right well that's it fitted working as you can see nice little gauge little backlight on it to set things up just got to put everything back together now then we can use it again right if you found this helpful give us a thumbs up maybe a subscribe if you're not a subscriber thanks to all the new people that are coming and watching really really appreciate it um we will be back on the sprint app and i will be over to workshop very soon i think dom's finished messing around over there now so we can crack on with stuff see you next time cheers